Life in the SHL, episode seven, let's go. We are heading down to Gothenburg tomorrow and then we play Ferlunda on Thursday and then back at home Saturday against Linköping, I think. So sticking to that Thursday, Saturday schedule. But I have a new addition to the house. I went and got a piano. So figured I'll use all the free time I have here and um, actually trying to learn something other than watch Netflix all day. So I took a couple lessons in college, but that was about six years ago. So I know the very, very basics. So I'm just trying to learn from with the help of YouTube actually to get going some easy songs. So if you have any song recommendations or, or requests, maybe I'll uh, keep adding and do a little piano segment here as well. Andy is making his second appearance on the vlog yeah. and he brought over his wheel <laughs> and we are uh, not doing so good testing oh. it out. You can see we got the Red Bull shirt. Yeah. How's it feel? It's really hard. Gonna crash. <laughs> Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You need a hockey helmet on to get a full experience. That's <laughs> <laughs> spinning. Yeah, nice. Oh, I forgot to change it. <laughs> oh no. Not bad, hey? Think I could drive the real thing? For sure. Oh. Maybe I picked the wrong sport. Flat out. Flat out. Oh! Almost lost. Hey! There it is. <laughs> it's because it's a Mercedes. Finally got the burger after about a six hour uh, bus trip. The room tour is going to be very quick because this place is pretty tight. But at least I got my own room here. Even got a little bit of a view of the, uh, the stadium over there. So we got team dinner in about 10 minutes uh, and then probably going to shake off the legs and go for a little walk after that. Call the family, get some sleep, ready for the game tomorrow.
Och någonstans här är det Johan Sundström. Det var en stor räddning. Och så möjlighet för Elmer Söderblom. Han har börjat bra. Det är trivsamt när Åman sätter fart. Åman kliver in. Ja då! Åman tölar in den! Här kommer till nästa. Elliot håller i. Elliot håller i. Skjuter. Och pucken ligger framför. Och så kommer pucken i vid främre delen två gånger om. Och där är det ju tomt! En liten lucka. Patrik Sackvi som siktar. Och det kommer nästa möjlighet! Och då är det smack! Gjort i Frölunda. Tar han Frölunda in i det här. Här kommer Ryan Lash. Ryan Lash. Homa. Här kommer Max Friberg. Han ska åka med Verono. Verono. Homa i mål! Tom Edvinsson. Mindre än tre minuter kvar. Där den pucken går in. Och den ligger anför Kaskisu. Big 4-2 road win, uh, my first win in Sweden and team's first win in the SHL as well. So very important three points for us. Um, it is 2 a.m. We split the drive. We're in Karlstad right now. I'll show you. There's actually a map here. So this is where we played. This is where we're at right now. And this is where it like said this, I think. And this is where I'm from. And also a little bit of time to... Uh, Talk to Fox as well. Let's well, say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. Yeah. All right. Finally home. Uh, definitely a big win. First points of the season. Must win, pretty much, like last game was. But we finally got it done. Uh, four two was the final. Niels Allman had two goals for us. And overall, the team just. We played great, I think. Guys were blocking shots, playing the right way, playing simple hockey and kind of the way the way it worked out for us. So it was good to see us playing our own game and get rewarded for it. But personally, um, I try to play a little faster, a little quicker, like I should, uh, and not play the speed of the game other than play my own speed uh, and, you know, really push myself to the limit like I obviously have to do every game. There's a lot of good things, uh, good depth management, uh, reading the play, being alert, all that kind of stuff was uh, pretty dialed. 3 nothing going in the third period. Uh, they got a penalty shot pretty early, and it was actually the same guy, Ryan Lash, who scored on the penalty shots in the preseason tournament. And he came down, shot low blocker. So goalies never do this, never guess on where they're shooting. But I was kind of taking a low blocker away. And he ended up shooting low glove, but missed the net. I was I was a little off on that. So good thing the puck stayed out of the net. But little little reminder that just read the play and don't try to be smart out there and anticipate anything. And then 10 minutes left, they scored to 4-1. to with a point shot and then um, they got a power play right after and then ended up scoring on that one as well. So they made it interesting, but we were able to hold down the fort and hopefully we can build on this since we have a game coming up tomorrow already, uh, three o'clock, so an early game. So no practice between the two games. So jumping right into it, another start tomorrow. Playing against Lin Jumping, um, Hopefully we can feed off this win and kind of get on a get on a little bit of a run here. Hopefully we found our game and what we need to do in order to be successful. So um, excited to get back out there tomorrow. Kaski som klarar, ny möjlighet! För Kristoffer E. Ett litet 
Men får den åter och lite får den här chansen och då är Kaski så tänt. Game recap time. 4-3 shootout loss against Ling Jumping. Getting pretty sick of losing right now. But I think after this week, if you look at the big picture, uh, we we're able to play our game, take some steps forward. So uh, we're on the right track, but obviously the results aren't really there, even though we got we got the big win on on Thursday and then at least at least got a point point yesterday, even though we should have gotten the full three. But we were up three nothing in the game and then um, in the second period they got a got a power play goal. Uh, kind of a rebound right in the slot that they buried and then on the third period another power play goal through from the point um, There's a couple threats and the first guy was able to get his stick on the puck tip it in um, And I kind of it was a tough play since I kind of had to pick Who to play and I think the puck was gonna land right to right to the tape on the back door so and then they tied it up as well with like uh, like a second rebound so they shot and then followed my rebound didn't see the release so I kind of had to slide on it kind of overslid and then obviously that rebound went straight to their guy as well and then they were able to bury and tie the game up and then lost it in the shootout personally felt good um, I mean it doesn't really matter if you lose but uh, it was good to see a lot of shots I think 39 shots total which is by far the most I've had had all year so uh, definitely felt felt pretty locked in and felt like I was in the game pretty well and so definitely a lot of improvements from from last week on the little things that we we wanted to focus on and like I said we had a lot of questions but we we had a lot of answers as well and I think uh, those answers definitely worked out worked out this week and you could see it in those games but um, yeah another challenge this week we're two road games we're going to Stockholm play against your Gordon on Thursday and then uh, we're on the road again Saturday against Faryastad so a couple big challenges again for, for us this week but excited for the chance to scrape up some points again and climb up the standings but that's gonna pretty much wrap up the whole week nothing much going on today other than watching the F1 race once again, laying low, recovery day, and get back to work tomorrow. So big thanks to all the channel members. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet and ring that bell for notifications. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.